Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be written, the uh, of not written. Okay, for some reason, my brain is stuck. This brain waves is down. It just went. I can't. I. I don't know, it's just, my brain waves just stopped, it felt like. <sighs> it must be because I'm trying to get into a trance without realizing it. What I was trying to say was, we are going to discuss the LBP, or the Lesser Benenson Ritual of the Pentagram. We're starting with the commentary um, on this page I am reading from. That's why my head is kind of like tilted. Uh, <coughs> actually, I'm just going to do, do it over here because... Okay, well, do I begin? Hmm. Notes and opinions on Canada. Okay. Notes and opinion. There are visualizations and rituals have added which are not written in labor O or zero. Um, one is to visualize the pentagrams in flames of blue. Another is to visualize the angels by specific color robes and carrying the balance or land and sword or alaf. A-L-E-P-H. Another is a visualization which begins prior to the Kabbalic, Kabbalah, yeah, Kabbalistic cross, but which continues through the end of the Kabbalistic cross portion of the ritual. Visualize become larger and larger, so large in fact that the earth becomes a basketball beneath one's feet at which one at which point one reaches to the star Sirius or a preferred star and draws the light from said star into the crown of one's head while when saying Atta and further draws that light down through the center of one's body to the earth below one's feet when saying Malkuth and across one's body from Gebura to Gedula, creating a cross of light, then focusing on the ball of light while the lines cross at one heart center at one's heart center Duran Layalam, and that one remains large during the ritual, only to return to one's normal-sized body when one performs the Kabbalistic cross at the end of the ritual. Rumor has it the large size is to ward off any unwelcome astral guests by seal intimidation 
to also help along one's self into one's astral body, and to assist with taking God form. One God form to assume might be harp, harp o crates. The normal size of the Kabbalistic cross at the end is to integrate whatever occurred in the ritual back into one's self. Think of this as Alice in Wonderland getting bigger and smaller. Personally, I have never actually done that. The the light from I'm gonna have to take off my robe and actually show what is happening. Uh, the light goes into your crown. It goes down to the heart center, which is your heart chakra right here, the middle of your chest. Ray Gabura and Ray Ged Ray. Gabura and Ray Gadula is on the shoulders, so the light is literally a freaking cross, like, like Christ, but to me that, I don't really identify with the cross, uh, maybe that is why I never done this. I have, I, I must have never read this part, but, or I have never, one, I may have never read it, too, I have forgotten, but I personally have never done this, uh, this part. I will be linking everything into the description down below. I should have said that in the beginning of the video, and I did not. I apologize for that. But then again, who reads the description? You probably miss it for all I know. <laughs> um, but yeah. On to the next, ep okay. Uh, on to some, another part of this page. Commentary and opinion. The QBL or Kabbalistic cross is a ritual in and of itself, which begins and ends the lesser balancing ritual of the pentagram. The Kabbalistic cross orients you to the elements within the body. And since the pentagram ritual is traced with the right hand, it tells you that you are working on and with the astral, uh, or fire. I guess astral means fire in this regard. The placement of Malkuth tells you well, the energy and or effects of the ritual is either stored or manifest. The Kabbal Kabbalistic cross has all five elements within it as it starts with spirit. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, oh, it was Atta, I, I believe. Um, Commentary on the quarters. Note that the quarters are not called directions, but are aligned to the direction during the ritual, and therefore are something different than merely a direction, but to have an association with the direction. 
the directions are that of the four winds. I am not going to attempt to read that. <laughs> Which have an association to the four bodies, mental, astral, eth etheric, and physical. Note that labor rest also utilizes, utilizes, utilizations of the directions of the four wind. For winds, uh, utilize. There we go. God brain. Tongue twister. Commentary on the elements. The lesser Benenson ritual of the pentagram is associated with the elements. Malkuth is said to contain the four elements of the manifest universe. Uh, um, commentary of the divine names, those observation, all of the divine Hebrew names intoned in the Lazar Benson ritual of the pentagram are composed of four letters. Yad he vav he uh yeah I'm not gonna t attempt to uh the four names are Yehova Ad O Ni or Nai A E A no A He A Agla. That is the four names. Uh, arc commentary on the archangels. Um, I just read. There's a lot here. I thought there was. Maybe that was a video I watched, uh... Okay, so there's all of that information that I just read through. Uh, the link to the page will be in the description of this video. There was so much I did not go over. This is going to be a uh, part two. The second part is I will be uh, reading slash how I do it. There are other ways to do it. I have heard. I am pretty sure I've heard of how to. Well, I had to. Brain and mouth not connected. <laughs> Meaning, my brain is going too fast, my lips cannot keep up. How I learned how to do the LBP, Lesser Benson Ritual of the Pentagram, I had to Google how to do it. Then I discovered there are multiple ways on how to do this ritual. I read the page that is ver version one. I watched the video and said how to do it on um, how I do it. That is version two. And then it said Malkuth can be replaced forever. So that is version three. Version four is you say a certain word on your heart, be it your holy guardian angel name. You can say, I was, or you can say, uh, Malkuth, um, on your heart. So that would 
was version whatever version that was welcome back my friends I was over the 15 minute line so I had to cut that and do two parts um Hopefully, when I put a fast forward speed duration on that video, it will not sound like a chipmunk. Hopefully. Uh, okay, so how I will read out how to do the Kabbalist. The. Let me start over. I will read how to do the lesser benison ritual of the pentagram. This is on the same page that I linked to the last video. The link will also be in this video as well. The Ritual from Labor O. Step 1. Atta. Step 2. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing. So I'm just doing this. Step 1. Again. Atta. Step 2. Touch the heart, your heart side. You can say Malkuth, version 1, version 2. You can say I was, version 3. You can call on to your holy guardian angel name if you know it. Or you could call into your deity that you follow. You can call upon your spirit familiar your spirit guide, whatever it may be. What you are doing, in my opinion, is you are calling them in to your body, into your spirit, invocating them. This is on your heart, and that is step two. Step three, right shoulder, However you want to do it, I don't really know. It's probably the right hand. The right shoulder is... Okay, step three. Ray gub you ra Step four. Right shoulder. Ray gub you ra No, no, I said that wrong. Step... Step three. Re Geb Yura. Step four. Re Ged Yu La. And then clasping the hands like this upon your heart chakra. Oh, upon. No, it's, it's like this. It said breast, but that would be like this. But it, that's not how I do it. I think it, it literally refers to heart chakra. That is step five. Le alam. Okay, that is the the info to the ritual. Turn. To the okay, it's how how do I um okay? Here's a clock. Clockwise, you're going clockwise. Turn left. No, turn right. Each time, turn east. So to me, I face north. Uh, Okay, um, uh, you can, okay. 
you go right, but、um, there are no directions. So to me, you can be facing your doorway.、Uh, you can be facing your computer screen. You can be facing your、uh, mirror and do this.、Um, there are your east might be different from mine. Okay, because how rooms are set up. So, yeah. Those are my three examples: face mirror, face a doorway. Uh, face your computer screen. Um. Face well. It just depends on you. However, you want to do east. For me, it would be since my doorway is mostly doing like like this to my right. Okay, I. I'm facing a window, so that's why I'm going to go over here. Faced my right side, so sec technically it would be behind me, since my doorway is literally like like to this this way. Like doorway, okay. So, or since I'm coming into the room. I'm going to be sitting like this, literally, my doorway. I just entered the room, so I'm going to this wall, and this is my east. Okay, and what I will say is, I kind of had to do this multiple times with, uh, write it down because this is very long. So that's why I have the web page up, just so I know I'm getting this correct. Because for the longest time, I could not, I did not have this memorized. It took me multiple times to get it memorized. Okay, faced east. I am making a pentagram. I will be drawing it with my index finger.、Uh, you can do this with a wand.、Um, you can do. Whatever tool, uh, I would say finger. If you do not have a wand, and by wand, uh, what, um, let me Google. Wiccan wand. Whoops, I don't know. Wiccans actually use wands, so that's why I'm Google. Okay, apparently, what good they do. Use wands. I don't know any Wiccans, so that's why I had to Google it. So, if you have a wand, I would recommend you using that.、Um, it also said、uh, maybe silver. Something to do with silver kind of popped into my head, but I think that was on an, a different、uh, ritual that I was reading.、It、said something about silver or gold. Okay,、um, but again, you're using it with your right hand. This is my right hand. Index finger, and you're just drawing a pentagram, a star. So, I will show the two versions. You can do this because I wasn't very. There's two ways to do this. Okay. If you start from the bottom. The bottom. This is invocating. No, no. Correction. No. This from the bottom. Okay. This is the bottom of my starting position. This is banishing. This is not invocating. Okay. So I go. Whoop. I'm gonna have to like. Figure this out. So this is like a star. Here's my side. Here's the other side. Here's the base、uh, line across, and like that. 
you are literally drawing a star with your finger. You can visualize the blue flame if you so choose. How it happened to me when I first did it is this automatically happened. I, as I'm drawing, I could see blue, and then when it was done, there was this it was glowing, flaming blue. So yeah. Okay, if you started from the top of the star, this, this is in, invo, invoking, sorry, invocating, invocate, in, invocate and invoking is pretty much the same thing in my opinion. I don't know, I could be wrong on that. So if you started from the, the top of the star and do, oh, this is going to be hard. Um that down like like that like a the waken okay it says if you did that star that was invokin so we are going from the bottom I never did the invokin yet because I just focus on the banishing for now. Um, okay, so East was behind me again. And... Okay, I had to show you how to draw it. I might have to do this in three parts because <laughs> I'm getting close to 15. Okay, the first element is Earth. That is what we are doing. Vibrate this. I just say it. I can't really get the vibration down yet. Um, it says quote weapon, but it means a wand or a what other uh, visual tool? It, yeah, it prefers a wand, but again, you can use your finger if you do not have one. I don't have one. Okay. We are going to the east. So, east is Yehova. Vibrate that while you draw your star. Oh my god, okay. I don't know if you can see this. Okay. Okay, you can. Ye ho va. Like, like that. I don't know if my mic is catching this. Okay, it is. Okay, here's my east. I turn east again. So now I'm facing this wall. Okay, my chair is like literally caught. <laughs> Turn to the south again. Never eat shredded wheat. That's how I learned it. So we are facing south. Right braid Add O Ni. Okay. Then we face west. I'm facing you now. So this is my west. Vibrate. A. E. A. Then you come back to where you started. Turn in to the north. Which I don't know why it says east and north. That's just kind of weird. So we are back facing north. Don't know why it says east, but wait, did I do that one? Have I been doing that all the? No. Never. Oh no. Yeah. 
I'm confused. It says, uh oh, 